Okay, so I just want to clarify some things that I was talking about um, earlier. It's really kind of confusing, but it's really interesting. But uh, in t Matthew t chapter 24, the disciples were asking Jesus about when the end of the world is coming. And he gave several, several indicators and several events that would happen. Like uh, he said, you'll see pestilences, uh, rumors of wars, wars. Um, nation will rise against nation you'll see sickness and uh, all this stuff just ramping up and he calls it like labor pains like women having contractions they start off slow first and then they become more increasingly rapid and uh, i believe a lot of events is going on in the world right now um are are matching up with that pretty pretty good and jesus compared it to to like uh, a fig tree and when you see the, the leaves falling, you know what season it is. And when you see the, the leaves blooming, you can tell what season that is. And so he, he said, no man will know the day of the hour when he'll return. But he said he doesn't want us to be ignorant about it either. He wants us to know what season that we're in. Um, and he said, the generation that starts to see these things happen will not pass away until they all happen and they see the, the coming of the Son of Man. And uh, we refer, a lot of people refer to that as the fig tree generation. And I, I believe that we are the fig tree generation. I believe that our generation will see uh, the events of the, true, not the tribulation. I think the rapture is going to happen before that. But I think we're going to see things happening, ramping up. And I think we're seeing that currently. Um, one of the things that Jesus talked about was the, let me back up. Um, so... The Bible says that a man's days are between 70 to 80 years. And um, in 1948, um, Israel became a nation again. And I think that's significant because some of the things that were supposed to, that were supposed to happen um, prophetically have happened, such as the temple being destroyed in 70 AD and the Jews scattered. They left Israel. But Ezekiel 38 says there'll be a day whenever Israelite that Israel becomes a nation again and that the Jews return to Israel and I believe that happened in 1948 when Israel became a state again uh, officially through the UN in 1948 and that's been about 70 years ago and since then Jews have been coming back to Jerusalem and they're feeling they're they're they're, they're gathering there again and I think Ezekiel 38 has been fulfilled and um, I think we're moved on to the next one. And the next one is to rebuild the temple. Um, you see, Christians believe that, that Jesus came to fulfill every bit of the law. That he's the Messiah. That he became, he became man. Um, and he fulfilled the law as God. 100% God, 100% man. He died on the cross. And he was buried and was resurrected. Washing the sins away of humanity. And... Uh, defeating death and fulfilling the law 100 percent but the jews they don't believe that not all of them they believe that they're still looking for the messiah and they need the temple to be rebuilt so that messiah can come and rule and reign there so why that's uh that's important is because in order for that to happen the jews need the ceremonial things that the law requires such as um five red heifers without blemish they need to sacrifice those animals outside of the city gates as burnt offerings and to um cleanse themselves so they can go into the temple and they haven't had any red heifers without blemish for 2000 years and there's actually only been nine in israel's history and that was 2000 years ago well this week uh they've been trying to breed these animals and try to find five red heifers without blemish for the past 70 to 80 years since Israel became a nation again. They haven't been able to find them. They haven't been able to, to find any of them. Maybe one here or there, but then it, it, they'd find a blemish and they'd kick it out. Well, this week they have found, they've bred and found, they, they didn't breed them this week, but they, uh, they found five red heifers in Texas that this man has been breeding and they're without blemish. So they put them on an airplane, they took them to Israel. There's five red heifers right now in Israel waiting to be sacrificed outside the city gates so they can be cleansed and rebuild the temple. And Jesus said, these things will happen before this coming of man. 
So um, it, it's really interesting stuff that we're like, okay, this stuff's happening. Uh, I've heard of a preacher. He said that his father was, was in ministry for 50 to 60 years and maybe only saw one prophetic thing come to pass and a f prophecy be, be fulfilled. Well, now we're seeing things pass like once or twice a month. Um, and so things are really ramping up, becoming increasing intensity. I live in South Carolina. I mean, we live in South Carolina. So we, we're hearing every week of earthquakes. I don't know if that's everywhere, but every week we're having an earthquake somewhere in the state. And so that just got my, it's got my eyeballs like raised up. It, it's really something serious. And I, I know that the God, it's, it's his will that all are saved and that no one should perish. But he's a just God as well. So we need to be evaluating our lives, evaluating our relationship with, with the Lord Jesus Christ and just making sure we know where we stand with him. Uh, he loves us, cares about us deeply, gave his life for us shed his blood for us so that we could come to know him as Lord and Savior. And I pray that that uh, that happens for each of you that's going to gonna watch this video. And I pray that that uh, you'll accept him as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus died on the cross, paid for your sins, and, and God raised him from the dead, that you'll be saved and born again. And so uh, I pray that that'll be your prayer and that you'll you'll uh, come to know him if you don't already and if, if you if you're not living for him i pray you'll just sell out to him and you'll you'll do his do his work and do his will um, that's my prayer above everything else but i'm excited because i believe that, that we are going to see some incredible things happening i really do um i believe wholeheartedly that this is the fig tree generation that jesus was talking about in matthew 24 and that we're not going to pass away until we see what's happened, what he's had planned for us. The re God's redemption of mankind. We get to be a part of that. How awesome is that? So, just want to let you know I love you. And um, I'm here if you have any questions. I'm just learning all this myself. So, I'm just going to have faith and, and lean on him and trust him. And whatever comes, uh, we'll be ready for it. Love y'all. God bless you.